Then we've got breaking Good. news this afternoon. Buzz, you broke the, st the story. Josh Schuster yeah. has been dropped from the Manly Seagulls first grade team. Yeah, and he's on $3.2 million over four years, contracted until 2027. Um, he played against the Warriors last weekend, was dropped to the bench, came on for 20 minutes, did not have one run with the football. I think he had two touches. Anthony Seabold, for the second time this year, has run out of patience and dropped into reserve grade for the game against the Bulldogs this weekend. It's a huge call because they've given him a new contract, what, only a month or, month or two ago? They gave him a... A bit more than that, long-term contract on big money. So to make this call shows that obviously Anthony, and I wouldn't imagine it's just Anthony. I think some of his teammates have had a gutful mm -hmm. of the way he's been playing and the and the effort he's put in. And I don't, you know, you don't really have a choice in the end. Yeah. If a bloke just doesn't aim up and doesn't have a go, and he hasn't really yeah, been having yeah. a go, you've got to make the well, call. That was his first touch, and oh. I'm sure all week, Gordy, yeah. the coaches would have been saying, when you get on the field, just run the ball, just keep well, it simple. Because this is what he's been guilty of, mm. and this is this is his Achilles heel. We, we've seen it throughout mm. the majority of the season. Now, these were his stats from the weekend. 26 minutes, zero runs, two possessions, one error, and seven tackles. Gordy, thoughts on this? Well, it's harder not to have a run than have a run in the back row. So for him to come on the field and not do that, I've said it before, there's not much that he can't do on the footy field. He, he, he could potentially be the best back rower, you know, ball-playing like a Gavin Miller style, and it's his efforts. So it's all the little things. Like, you would die to, to have his ability, but it's what he does away from the football, mm, yeah. and he just doesn't want to... And he didn't go to the World Cup. He wanted to get fit, and I thought, well, that's a great sign. It's really interesting you say what he does away from the field, because when they hooked him after 20 minutes and those terrible stats, mm. they were expecting him to be dirty, to blow up, to, you know, to be angry on himself. He just carried on business as usual in yeah. the sheds after the game. And that's when it, Anthony Seabold was convinced it's time for it. But is this a case of rewarding mediocrity? I mean, the, the, the kid underperformed uh, the last couple of seasons, uh, but was still in high demand, was still offered big money, was signed on a four-year deal at, at, at $800,000 and not off the back of his performances, more so potential. So all of a sudden this kid has got this false sense of reality that he's already made it. He's getting paid big bucks, mm. and he hasn't done the hard work because his teammates have complained about it. So this is a this is a, I mean, it's the right call at the moment, right? Yeah. But have Manly made the right call by signing him? I, I don't think they have on what we've seen since. But the off season is going to be particularly important, and whether he can come back next year, I don't see any way Manly can terminate his contract through a performance no. clause or. <laughs> You know, he'd have to be missing. It'd have to be a disciplinary reason, and they I won't don't. Terminate it. I, I don't he's, think he's, 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 he's got three point two he's, million he's, dollars. They're not going to terminate it after no. they've just re yeah, they've yeah. just re-signed him. He's a free. How he's do got you free... know they won't terminate? Well, it. What are they going to do? Just well, give him three point two million him twice this year? Yeah, but they can't just pay him out. I mean, that's three point two million dollars on your cap. I'm not saying the they can't pay him well, out. They go to his agent and say, "Look, can you find him a deal somewhere else?" Where's that? The Tigers? I don't know. No, the Benji Marshall's not that. No, because he's. No, that he's got to get out of his. Uh, yeah, he, he's got to get out of his comfort zone. He's got to get hungry, and, Gordon. And he's got, and he's got to do it himself. Mm. So if I was a boss of him, I'd make. For me, it's weight. So it'd be the scales, and it'd be discipline, and it'd be extra. But they'd be, so they'd they'd be doing that. that. They'd be, yeah. they'd, like Gordy, they would be doing that by now. Daly, Daly, Daly was trying it last year before he sacked. Daly had Josh. some pretty brutal words from earlier this year about this exact thing, taking ownership of your career and... The requirements and, of a professional yeah, football. and obviously he hasn't lived. He's not listen, listening to the coach. He's not listening to Daly Chair Evans. For me, the issue isn't that they re-sign him. It's the, the amount they paid to re-sign well, that, that's, that's, that's the, the bigger that's issue. The I mean, you, I don't mind him re-signing him at four years, at maybe $400,000 a year, because they were, they were competing against themselves. There was no one really, other than them, interested in the signing Tigers him. were. Well, apparently they were, but Benji didn't want him. So Scott some Thornton. people of the Tigers did, Benji didn't. And as the Tigers are made eminently clear several times, mm. the coach has the final say, apparently, on whether players come there or not. So that's if you listen one, to that's that... That's one of the best I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to that, <laughs> he wasn't going to the Tigers. But yeah, that, that, for me, that's the error they've made. And it's, this sort of stuff can be a coach killer. Mm. This can cost the coach his career making these yeah. sort of decisions. When you but get it so, wrong this badly, yeah. as it looks at the moment, it can, it can hurt you. Buzz, you've spoken about the cap there 
a number of times, mm. and there is pressure on the cap, and this is one of the reasons why. Well, there's four players take up four million, and Schuster, Tom, Jake, Turbos, and Cherry Evans. Mm. And what that means when you top heavy your cap, then you throw Ola Kawatu in and Tyler the, the centre. It affects your depth. So you, your bottom rung players who you need during the year when players are away on rep duty, when there's injuries, they're not as strong as the other clubs. Mm. And this is why Manly, it wasn't bad refereeing, they missed the finals. I reckon their salary cap being out of sorts cost them good. They do they, not I, have the depth of other clubs, but, quality depth. But they got all those other ones right. This is the one they got wrong. They're not overpaying. Tommy's had some injuries, but when Tommy's I'm playing, they, he's they, as good as I'm anyone. I'm not saying Jakey's mate. the heart and soul of that place. Daly's their captain. They haven't overpaid those guys, Buzz. They've paid them the right amount. This is the one. There's nothing wrong with having a top-heavy salary cap if you get those top-heavy payments right. And they've got this one wrong, and that's the problem. Do you think Jake Arthur is good depth? Yeah, I don't mind him as depth. Okay. He was pretty good is last weekend. Yeah. Is there something yeah, yeah. you know that we don't no. know, Buzz? Yeah. Is it, it, I thought he was okay no, no, on the I'm weekend. I'm not yeah. saying... Yeah. Like, do, you think, just, do, you, do you think that they may let him go? Um, I think if we have this... We're here next year talking about him not competing like he did the other day, mm. getting hooked, going back to reserve grade, they will try and sell him for sure. Mm. You can't drop him a third time, a fourth time... They you, need you to get You can only get sell 800. what someone wants to buy. Mm. Otherwise, you give it away. Yeah. But he wouldn't be the first big name offloaded. They might contribute 300 and give him a for Chain Flanagan for 500 St George. Flanagan? You think Flanagan? No, I'm just saying <laughs> Flanagan's coached him. Flanagan knows what he's capable of. Mm. Flanagan's desperate to put some quality into that man. Hey, we're we getting somewhere here. Eh? No, well, I'm just <laughs> saying. We're getting somewhere here. Eh? It's Keep not. Keep talking, Buzz. I'm loving this. No, no, I'm not saying he's going to St George. <laughs> hey, we're you going to be Dragons fans. We're going to be Dragons fans. I'm loving it. I'm trying to paint I a picture. I knew we'd get there eventually. I'm trying to paint a picture of. Wade how... Graham's gone, Sharks. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah. time will tell. This is going to be interesting. I feel like you know something that, that we I don't. don't. I promise he does. <laughs>